Hi everyone, and welcome back into Wolf's Tavern. I am your host, Wolf, from Retro and Wolf, as well as being associated with Geek News Now. You can go check out Geek News Now at geeknewsnow.net. And without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into all of this. So today, I have a very simple recipe for some garlic mashed potatoes. So this is everything that we're going to be needing. I'm actually doing a double batch today, but you're going to need a big pot with water. We're going to lightly salt it, bring that up to a boil. And for a double batch, I'm using about four and a half pounds of potatoes. You're going to want to just kind of go ahead and cut them up. It makes it easier for them to get soft in the boiling water. And we're going to have garlic. Now, if you're just doing a single batch, you're just going to need the one. But like I said, I'm doing a double batch, so I need two full garlic bulbs. And yes, these are my year-round salt and pepper shakers. And so you're gonna need a little bit of salt and pepper, some olive oil, butter. We're going to need some sour cream. And then I'm also going to be adding some green onion. All right, so we have our water. It's just starting to boil. It's not a rolling boil, but it's still a boil. And we're just going to add all of our potatoes that we already have sliced and peeled and that way then we can be trying to get them cooked thoroughly and this is going to take about 20 minutes on a simmer. Okay so like I said we've got all of this going for the potatoes. Our first step with the garlic we need to get our oven all set up and we need it at 375. So we're getting that to be preheated and getting that going. Like I said I am still making a double batch so I've already done this. What you're going to need to do is just separate these. Don't peel them. And so one of the easiest ways is you're going to press down on this. If that is going to start hurting your hands, you can always use like a fork or a knife, just something to where it's between your hands and it. It'll start to come apart. This outer part is fine to come off, but then you're going to just want that inner part. It still has a casing that we're going to be peeling later on. Okay, so then we're just finishing up here with that last bit of the garlic. You're going to be wanting to put the cloves into a bowl because we're going to be mixing it with some olive oil. And like I said, you can still take off some of this outer, but we're just wanting to make sure that we're not fully peeling that inner part. And it's okay if that outer peel is still there. Okay, so now that these are all peeled, we have them in our bowl. For my double batch, it's going to be two tablespoons of olive oil. If you're doing a single batch, then of course, you're just gonna cut that in half and be one tablespoon. And we're just going to pour this in, and then we're going to be mixing the olive oil and the garlic cloves together. All right, so then with that olive oil, like I said, we're just going to be mixing it just stirring that olive oil within the garlic cloves. Okay, so now that these are all mixed, then you're just going to go ahead, put them onto a, a cookie or a baking sheet, however you want to call it. Just kind of drizzle that remaining olive oil over top. Just spread them out just a little bit. And then once our oven is ready at the 375 degrees Fahrenheit, then we'll be putting these in. Okay, so we've got our oven that has preheated itself to 375. We're just gonna put those garlic cloves in there and this is going to be cooking in there for 10 minutes. All right, so our 10 minutes has just finished and we're gonna go ahead and pull out the garlic. Actually smells pretty good, I might add, but we're just gonna pull these out, let them cool for just a minute. That way then we can peel them the rest of the way. Okay, so we've already got our garlic done and now our potatoes are done. We've drained them, we put them back. We're just gonna mash them a little bit just to start getting them where we're going to need it. Make it a little easier when we're trying to mix in the sour cream, the butter, the green onion, and we're also going to be adding in a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter. I have four tablespoons of butter for my double batch. And I'm also gonna go ahead, 
with the sour cream, which is one cup of sour cream. And we're just going to get that. That's why I love these, just being able to do all of that. So I'm gonna mix all of this together and then we're going to add the green onions, salt, and pepper. All right, so I'm I've already added in the green onions. I'm just gonna do a little dash of salt as well as just a little bit of pepper. And you can add salt and pepper as you go along and you're tasting this. So then we're going to come on over here to the garlic that we had roasted earlier. Just gonna take that skin off. You're gonna be left with this and you're just gonna kind of mash it in with your fingers and then just put it on in. All right, so now we've got everything mashed and mixed together. We got all of our garlic mixed in. And so now we're all done. All right, so as you guys got to see, we've already finished our mashed potatoes. We're ready to serve these up. And so make sure to tune in next week where Retro is going to be using this mashed potato recipe with his cottage pie, which is a variation of a shepherd's pie. And so once again, I'm Wolf, and I'll see you guys later.